will now look at the enabling zone, the case studies and the directory of resources. The enabling zone is intended to provide practical tools and advice to help with the everyday work of supporting older people with frailty, their families and their carers. It includes all the tools for identifying and assessing frailty recommended as part of the NICE guidance on multimorbidity, as well as other widely used frailty scales, such as the Edmonton scale and the Clinical Frailty Scale, or the Rockwood. Each post provides a summary of the tool and how it is used, as well as what settings it is recommended for use in. The Supported Self-Care section provides access to the Supported Self-Care Planning Template that was developed as part of the Nottinghamshire programme. Each post provides information on the different component parts of the template. There is also a section in the Enabling Zone where you can find practical guides on relevant topics. As with all parts of the toolkit, this continues to evolve and develop, and if you have any suggestions for what else you would like to see included, then do please let us know. The Case Studies section is where you can find out more about the lives of our three person-centred case studies. You hopefully met Victor through Frailty Sim. Namala as part of understanding the multi-dimensional nature of frailty. And Baldev through his journey of frailty. You'll also find the service case study about the over 75 screening programme that was run by a group of GP practices near Newcastle under Lyme in Staffordshire. This includes an interview with B, an elderly care facilitator, talking about her role. The Directory Resources Zone provides an area for local customisation. It is not intended to be an exhaustive directory of services. Most areas already have one of those. Rather, it is a place to signpost to those marketplaces or directories, as well as highlight particular services that might be relevant to older people living with frailty, their carers and those supporting them. It can provide information about what is happening in other areas and also includes some national links and a section on assistive technology. As with the enabling zone, if you have any suggestions for additions or changes, then do let us know. The final sections of the toolkit, which have yet not yet been covered, are the about section, which provides some background and related information, and the my profile section, which we first viewed when changing passwords after logging in. In addition to updating your password and profile, you can also find and create collections of bookmarked documents here, as well as the logout link. To create a bookmark collection, scroll to the post of the bottom of the post you wish to bookmark. You then have the option to add it to an existing collection or to create a new collection. Let's create a new collection called Nice Guidance. This now appears in the drop down, so we can select it and then click Add to Collection. You should then get an acknowledgement and the opportunity to remove the bookmark. If we now go to the bookmarks submenu, we can see the additional collection and a link to the bookmark content. Collections and bookmarks can be deleted just as easily as they can be added. That completes the tour of the toolkit. If you have any issues or suggestions, please do get in touch via help at frailtytoolkit.org. A short quiz about the toolkit follows and completes the frailty awareness learning pathway. We hope you find the resources helpful in whatever capacity you work with older people living with frailty.